flu season is here. You know what? There's a lot more than just flu to be aware of. We're talking COVID, RSV cases. They are on the rise on top of influenza, but health experts say do not panic. Joining us this morning, Dr. Anna Maria Temple, a local pediatrician and a friend of ours. Good morning, Dr. Temple. Good, How are you? Good. How are you? I'm excited to talk about snot season. I'm just glad you brought the snot sucker back. We're going to talk about that. There's your tease here coming up in just a couple minutes. But yeah, we are. We're hearing a lot about COVID again. We don't want to repeat of the pandemic a couple years ago, but there's no doubt. I mean, when you look at the numbers, 2.1 million outpatient visits. You got uh, almost 80,000 hospitalizations. What's going on right now? Right, so right now it's cold and flu season. This is nothing new. We act like, oh, no, not this year, because we got <laughs> used to being under lockdown when we didn't have a lot of illnesses. So now this is what happens when we're out in the world. During yeah. the cold and flu season, RSV, uh, COVID, flu, metanumovirus, all the viruses are traveling and spreading snot. Well, there we go. Okay, so you got some interesting advice for us uh, out there to try to help fight RSV. And one of the first things you mentioned, and why it came out here during commercial break and goes, ooh, I like the salt baths over here. Salt is important. Why is that? Salt, salt, salt. It is antibacterial, antiviral, and it decreases inflammation in the nasal and in your airways. Okay. So it makes a big difference to get exposure to salt. And you could do it simply with saline uh, nose spray. A lot of kids don't like it. All right, whatever. Then you just put them <laughs> in a salt bath with oh. Epsom salts. Magnesium helps soothe the cough. So just soaking in the salt bath. Soaking. You can go to a salt room near you. Sitting in the salt room, you just the kids playing the salt. And all this advice is good for babies, pregnant mamas, nursing mamas, everyone of all ages. Don't forget nebulizer treatments with salt water, hypertonic saline, regular saline. All this salt can really make a difference in thinning out the snot and decreasing the cough. And you can get all this stuff at, at a local pharmacy store or Target yeah. for the yeah. for the most uh, part there. Okay, um, we always get worried about if the fever, uh, it, we always are, are concentrating on the number that shows up on a thermometer. Do we need to freak out about that? No, we have what I call is a fever phobia that us doctors have created. And we focus on the thermometer and we don't look at the child. Because if the thermometer says 103, but the child is quietly playing, drinking fluids, we don't need to to treat that. Now, if the, the temperature says 100, but the child is not breathing well, they're working too hard to breathe, they're not eating, they're screaming bloody murder, well, we're going to treat the child. But very often, the kids are fine. The thermometer alerts us to a number, and we treat the number, and we over-medicate our children, and we don't let the immune system do its job. Oh, I love that. That's such good advice. Okay, wet sock method. This is good. I know you brought a wet sock up there, or a sock to imply. What do we do with the wet sock? Okay, so this is like an old technique from Russia from Russian doctors long time ago in 1800s. And you, what you do is you put your child of any age in a warm bath with Epsom salts. Okay. You let them soak in there for like five to 10 minutes, and then they're nice and toasty warm. You, in the meantime, you leave in a bowl of water with ice, you put cotton socks in there, and you get them chilled out. After the warm bath, you dry the child, put the wet socks on, you wring them out first, what, right. and then you put the cotton sock, wet cotton socks first, then you cover them with woolly dry socks, put what? jammies on, jump in bed, and what that happens stimulates the lymphatic system to get the junk moving, and you'll be shocked at how well it works for congestion. Ooh, I recommend using clean socks, by the way. So you may want to use yours because kids' socks aren't going to be clean. Especially uh, how, if you have teenagers. Can yeah, I can say for a moment? You can't even find any clean ones. Let's start with that. That is a true story. Um, hydrating is super important and not with sweet things like Cokes and sodas. Correct. And then the other one is there's all these popular electrolyte drinks that are over the counter and they're purple and they're blue and they're red. Those are have food coloring. They have sucralose. They have dextrose. They have chemicals that we don't need in, in their children's bodies. And in fact, now they've made like healthier versions. They still have dextrose. They still have natural flavors. It is super simple to just do water with salt. We can do water, a little juice, and a little salt. You can do coconut water. Also, be careful of dairy. Dairy and milk and cheese and yogurt and all the other stuff. They can snot. So oh. there's many other things that we can use to hydrate, like water, salt, maybe a little juice. I like that. And last but not least, what do we do with all the snot that we produce in the mucus? It gets out of control. And sometimes you'll have kids, even adults, gagging on it. My God, if we can make money making fuel, car fuel, <laughs> out of the snot, 
We'd be so wealthy because the amount He's of going to drive the first snot rocket uh, in Charlotte. I okay. am telling you. So what are so, we doing with this? So we've got to clear the snot, and I always bring it because I know you love it. There's obviously electric ones, that you, a battery-operated ones. Really? But they're not as good on TV as the one that's stuck <laughs> in this because you shove, shove this in people's nose. Okay, and you so start, this, right? side, so, this side goes up here. Goes in your nose, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I suck the snot from this side. Yeah. Like and so. obviously, it's not going to go all the way up the straw. I mean, I would think that's the person's fear is I'm going to ingest. I'm going to eat snot. No, there's a whole filter in here that blocks the snot from going in your <laughs> mouth. And then after each suction thingy, you take it off. Yeah. You pull this thing off and you change the filter oh, the out. Filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Filter out. That is awesome. Yeah, but, but if you're just... disgusted by this, then there's actually battery-operated ones. See, at least one of these five methods should help you and your family try to stay safe during the... Uh, the RSV, the flu, and the COVID season. So listen, thank you for this. I'm going to let you hang on to the, you know what? Maybe I should take it. I've already, it. I've, already, take it. I've already stuck it up yep. my nose. Dr. Anna Maria Temple always has great advice. Check out her social media feeds as well. Somehow recruits her kids, especially her son, into a lot of these videos. Good stuff.